Ezra Re'ivi for Ezra 1. The second Sefer of the prophet Ezra, the son of Sarayahu, the son of Azariahu, the son of Kilkiyahu, the son of Shalom, the son of Sedok, the son of Achituf, the sunny son of Avishua, the son of Penikach, the son of Eli, the son of Emariahu, the son of Azariahu, the son of Merioth, the son of Buki, the son of Avishua, the son of Pinechach, the son of El Azar, the son of Eharan, of the tribe of Levi, which was captive in the land of the Madai, in the reign of Artach Shashta, king of the Persians. And the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Go your way, and show my people their sinful deeds, and their children their wickedness, which they have done against me, that they may tell their children's children. Because the sins of their fathers are increased in them, for they have forgotten me, and have offered unto strange Elohim. Am not I even he that brought them out? of the land of Mitzrayim, from the house of bondage. But they have provoked me unto wrath, and despised my counsels. Pull off then the hair of your head, and cast all evil upon them, for they have not been obedient unto my Torah, but it is a rebellious people. How long shall I forbear them, into whom I have done so much good? Many kings have I destroyed for their sakes. Paro, with his servants, and all his power have I smitten down. All the nations have I destroyed before them. And in the east I have scattered the people of two provinces, even of Sor and Sidan, and have slain all their enemies. Rather, and have slain all their enemies. Speak therefore unto them, saying, Thus says Yahweh, I led you through the sea, and in the beginning gave you a large and safe passage. I gave you Moshe for a leader, and Deharan for a priest. I gave you light in a pillar of fire, and great wonders have I done among you. Yet have you forgotten me, says Yahweh. Thus says El Shaddai Yahweh. The quails were as a sign to you. I gave you tents for your safeguard. Nevertheless, ye murmured there, and triumphed not in my name for the destruction of your enemies. But ever to this day do ye yet murmur, Where are the benefits that I have done for you? When ye were hungry and thirsty in the wilderness, did ye not cry unto me, saying, Why have you brought us into this wilderness to kill us? It had been better for us to have served the Mitzrim than to die in this wilderness. Then had I pity upon your mornings and gave you manna to eat, so ye did eat angels' bread. When ye were thirsty, did I not cleave the rock, and waters flowed out to your fill? For the heat I covered you with the leaves of the trees. I divided among you a fruitful land. I cast out the Kena'anim, the Perizim, and the Pelishtim before you. What shall I yet do more for you, says Yahuwah? Thus says El Shaddai Yahuwah, when ye were in the wilderness, in the river of the Amorim, being athirst and blaspheming my name, I gave you not fire for your blasphemes. Rather, for your blasphemies, but cast a tree in the water and made the river sweet. What shall I do unto you, O Yaakov? You, Yahudah, would not obey me. I will turn me to other nations, and unto those will I give my name, that they may guard my statutes. Seeing ye have forsaken me, I will forsake you also, when ye desire me to be gracious unto you, I shall have no mercy upon you. Whensoever ye shall call upon me, I will not hear you, for ye have defiled your hands with blood, and your feet are swift 
to commit manslaughter. Ye have not, as it were, forsaken me, but your own selves, says Yahweh. Thus says El Shaddai Yahweh, Have I not prayed you as a father his sons, as a mother her daughters, and a nurse her young babes, that ye would be my people and I should be your Elohim, that ye would be my children and I should be your father? I gather you together as a hen gathers her chickens under her wings. But now, what shall I do unto you? I will cast you out from my face. When ye offer unto me, I will turn my face from you. For your solemn feast days, your new moons, and your circumcisions have I forsaken. I send unto you my servants, the prophets, whom ye have taken and slain, and torn their bodies in pieces, whose blood I will require of your hands, says Yahuwah. Thus says El Shaddai Yahuwah, your house is desolate. I will cast you out as the wind does stubble, and your children shall not be fruitful, for they have despised my commandments and done the thing that is an evil before me. Your houses will I give to a people that shall come, which not having heard of me yet shall believe me, to whom I have showed no signs, yet they shall do the things I, that I command them. If they have seen no prophets, yet they shall call their sins to remembrance and acknowledge them. I take to witness the grace of the people to come, whose little ones rejoice in gladness, and though they have not seen me with bodily eyes, yet in the Ruach they believe the thing that I say. And now, brother, behold what glory, and see the people that come from the east, unto whom I will give for leaders Avraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov, Husha, Emach, and Mikeyahu, Yoel, Ovedyahu, and Yonah, Necham, and Chabukuk, Safanyahu, Chagai, Zachariahu, and Malaki, which is called also an angel of Yahuwah.